So you have a Unify access point and you've got a problem. You put a pin into the reset hole right here and it does absolutely nothing. You don't even feel a click or anything. What's probably happened is you've accidentally uh, snapped it off the PCB. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a nuisance, but, you're gonna, it's, but it is recoverable. Uh, you're going to avoid your warranty though by opening the device. So if you have a look, squeeze it sideways a little. And you take what's called a spudger, which is one of these plastic um, tools here with a chisel-like edge. So you squeeze it a little, you'll see that this opens up a bit. And you can fit your spudger in there. And there are five little clips around the side. So you slowly work it around. Don't force it in too hard or you'll crack the um, plastic, you'll damage it. Let's go around. It does require a little bit of force. And not too much. In the meantime, you want to get your soldering iron uh, warming up in the background. So go around here like this. And then there's the fifth one. Uh, these are the Wi Fi antennas, don't uh, bend those. Uh, changing their geometry will affect their performance. So you'll need a PH1 screwdriver, Phillips head 1 size 1 screwdriver. Carefully unscrew the three screws. Be careful not to slip off and and um, uh, dislodge one of the surface mount components from the PCB. I have to say, if the entire um, Unify system or Ubiquiti system is pretty poorly designed in a lot of ways. Um, and the hardware is not the least of which the uh, usability is pretty poor also, I have to say, in terms of user interface with the uh, software setup, etc. Okay, so now you can gently squeak that out of there. Now I understand that the, um, the, the access points that are designed for external use actually have silicone around the edges um, to seal them, which will make it obviously a lot more difficult to disassemble. So very carefully with this board here, we have a look, we flip it over, we can see that, come on, you can focus. You can see right here that our reset button has completely lifted off the board. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat that up, reflow it, and just solder it back down here and there in these two points. And um, that should get this thing back work back working again. I should also point out that I've um, been a uh, service technician for uh, medical monitoring uh, equipment for many years as well. So this is uh, um, this is not the um, not exactly a repair for everybody. I'm going to tin that tip a little bit, transfer a bit of heat, bit of extra solder running to that point. Steady. Just going to tag that side for now. Wait for that to cool. Pop something out of there. Stop it from spinning around. When you're soldering, you want to make sure you have enough heat in the joint without being putting too much in, which would cause components to be damaged from the heat. What that amount is is kind of a thing you kind of pick up over time. It's a 40 watt line, sorry, 25 watt line, so it's not a huge amount of heat going into that. That side's good. Now that that second side is cooled, I'm going to go back to the first side for a little bit. Let's make sure that's a really good joint. So I do not want this coming off again. And that's the job done. There we go. And now we'll be able to press that button again and um, it'll give us contact. 
Now the reassembly procedure is uh, pretty simple. Same thing in reverse. Um, you get the idea. Put this socket, the uh, um, RJ45 socket in first. Twist and when it's sitting flat, very carefully thread these back in. As I mentioned, you want to make sure you don't accidentally slip and snap a component off the board. If you do that, you can throw this thing straight in the bin. Or actually, it's probably a great frisbee. It's probably one of the one of the uh, greatest things about the Unify products. The um, uh, the um, when you get frustrated with them, you just use them as a frisbee. So now when this is back together, I'm able to plug it in and finally do the hard reset, which is not possible by any other means. Line it up, that's the bottom there. Unify logos that way up. Make sure your clips are all lined up. You can see that from the inside. Make sure you are perfectly lined up. Flip it down all the way around. That's the job done. UFO flies off.